and while you're in 105, was the was the railway line laid up to that point, or were you ahead of it? We were about uh, 100, 113 kilos. Yes. Uh, kilometres. Kilometres. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hang on. Before the 105, I was at the 75. Yes. Yeah. And then I went up to the 105 from the 75, I think. And uh, that was a, the 100. The, the 75 were lower in what in, in mileage, and uh, were about 70 miles. And then we went up to the 105. Yes. And we we went up from there. And we worked up to about 100, 113, I think. Yes. And uh, we worked from back back there. Uh, up to 105 and then further on. Yes. Up to about 130. And what was your particular work? Were you were you la track laying or were you no building the uh, hammer and tap or no the uh, cuttings? You were doing the cuttings. Yes, yeah. and there were quite a few there. Yes, and we had the uh, the bag between us on the pole. Yes, and uh, th three men to a gang. Yes, and. Uh, so you were doing embankments then, were you? Embankments, yes. Yeah. Sometimes cart my dirt out and sometimes cart my dirt. Yeah, so did you, in your team of three, did you, you change somewhat? One was doing the digging and then the other two were carrying? Or? I was doing all the digging. Were you? Mm. Yeah. I preferred that. Yeah. yeah. And the others were carrying the other two. Now, how much rock was it? Yeah, when you, it's all right you know, digging up soil, but was there much rock as well? Yes, but we didn't didn't get that particular rock. No, so you just take the soil from between them, would you? Or yeah, or from the side to the embankment, carry yes. it up. Yes. We, we carried it, dug it out, and then carried it up, whatever height it was. Can you give give me an estimation of how high the embankments were? Oh, about uh, 12, 15 feet. So th four or five meters tall. Four or five. Yeah. So on the ground where we were, it was fairly flat country. We were yes. Occasional hills we yeah. went through. Yes. Nothing like it is in central Thailand around no. Konyu area and Hillfar Pass. No. no. Now, when you're at 105 kilo camp, was there a nearby Dutch camp? Yes, yeah, so down about about 95, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And now, if you think of a Dutch camp, how many of them were what I would call Eurasian Dutch, like the people who had grown up in the Netherlands East Indies, but they weren't of true Dutch nationality. They were actually the natives. So were, were there a lot of? Was there a mix of, say, Dutch Dutch, if I may say that, and then the Netherlands East Indies Dutch, who might be coloured soldiers. I think that was the Netherlands in these. Yes. Um, uh, were you able to assess the hygiene standards? I beg your pardon? Were you able to assess the hygiene standards? It was not very good at not all. Not good. Yeah. Doesn't. Um, Doesn't sound like proper dates, does it? No, no. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's really what it boils down to. They, there was a mixture of them. Yeah. But that's only an impression I have. I don't really know. Mm. Mm. Okay, so where were you? Do, you? do you remember the joining of the line? Was there anything that, that the message got through to you as prisoners of war that suddenly this railway line had joined up the one from south? Did you ever know that? Did people tell you? that? Yes. It, it, did they say it's finished or what did they say? Well, it was finished and uh, the other parties had to go back on the line and uh, and um, clean up behind and tidy up and, yeah. and uh, correct faults in the line. That's yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember the trains going through? Steam yeah, yeah. steam trains. Yeah. First ones went through. Was the there anything in particular about the first trains that went through? Oh, well, we were all glad to see them. <laughs> but they were they were going north, weren't they? No, there were some coming from the north. Were they? Yeah. Okay. Were you aware of any what I call uh, comfort women trains, uh, no. prostitute trains? No. Because 
in one book it's suggested that the first train that went through was one which had Japanese dignitaries on that they brought up for the joining of the line. They were followed by uh, comfort women who were going through to service the Japanese soldiers in Burma. Which you Yes. Mm. And the last one was carrying ammunition and bits and pieces. But you're not aware of that. No. Okay, so if that the joining of the line took place in October 1943, have you got a feeling for what, about what date you actually moved down to Thailand? Do you remember Christmas Day up in Burma or? Not in particular one. No. Three or four of them up there. Uh, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, three or four of them up there. Christmas Day was just a day with a shovel. Yeah. All right, talking about special days, do you remember things like um, Armistice Day? Was there ever any observance of Armistice Day in the camp? don't remember one. Or what about Melbourne Cup Day? Well, we might, I mean, we might have a, a local Melbourne Cup race with some beetles or something else on. Yeah. And uh, that's all. That Melbourne Cup was. Yes. The Japs used to put a mile of better betting on it. Yes. You know, from the Jap. Now, the payment for when you uh, when you moved to southern Thailand, uh, you went down by train. Yes. What sort of what was it like? Was it open trucks that you were crammed on, or were you in the old rice wagons? I think we must have been on open trucks. Okay, were you able to, do you visualise whether you were able to sit and squat or did you have to stand all the way? Did it take two or three days or how many days? That's something else I don't remember. No. It wasn't very important to me, you know, how long it took. Did it feel good to be going? It was all right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting out of Burma. Yeah. How did you get, do you remember anything about being fed while you were going down there? Being? Fed, food. Oh. We had, we carried rice. Carried rice. Yeah. And, uh, Already cooked or? I think it was, must yeah. have been. Yeah. yeah. And it must have been for two, no more than three days of journey yeah. down. Okay. Do you remember crossing any of the bridges and whether you felt... Yeah, we, we didn't feel safe. No. Nah. <laughs> because, because of our people attempts at demolish at... Uh, sabotaging. Uh, so sabotaging. Yeah. Do you, do you remember there was one facility called the Wampo Viaduct which runs around the face of a cliff? Yes, I remember that well. Yeah. We sat on the inside of the, of the cars and we kept all our weight there going yes. around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you got it, do you remember actually going over what is called the bridge over the River Pryor now? Do you, do you recall being on that? No, I don't, I don't retain, I don't retain a, a memory of it. Do you remember getting off? Off the train at maybe was it Tamarkan or did we? At Tamarkan, I think. Yeah. Well, we made about four kilometres long to the to our camp. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you remember anything about the Japs having anti-aircraft gun positions on the hills nearby? Or? Oh, they had them there. Yes. Did you ever have to carry water up to the people? No. There? no. Did you know 